Hey guys, so there's this hybrid fucking um, Spider Queen form. Now I was debating whether to release this shit, but not because of whose form it is. Whoever created this form originally, you know, they're a fucking sociopath. Um, this form is ridiculously unreliable. It's there's so many moving pieces and shit, and you're kind of in a catch-22 situation with it, but I figured I'd put it out there, you know, you know, there was some trash clan that doesn't exist anymore, drama, some shit, but, yeah, it's a, it's about getting Jin to stay alive over here in the corner, and, um, it's another tactic you can use, I find that the damage you gain from it, um, it's not much more than you could get with the regular form. And any any bonus you get damage wise, you know, you're wasting it ten time tenfold in time wasted um, getting it to work. Now if you're lower level troops than I've got Well I'll show you how it works for starters. So the goal is to get Jin trapped on the other side of the Shadow Ninjas. Okay, he's not there yet. And looks like he's not going to get there. What you need him to do is activate and then go chase one of the little spiders. And then get on that side of it. So now he's trapped there. Well, for now he's trapped there. Whether he stays trapped there is another question. You know, because the Spider Queen can sometimes spit too much and take out too many of the troops on that side, Shadow Ninjas, which will in turn lead to um, Jin escaping. But theoretically, Jin can live the whole battle like this. Um, you'll progressively lose more and more troops on that side where Jin is, which is why I think it's pretty, you know, dumb. It might work in phase one better than phase two. There's currently phase two. Um, I didn't try it in phase one. Again, I don't really give a shit about honor hunting. It's kind of just a waste of time. And to do well in each honor hunting, you've got to level up some obscure fucking useless troops. Like for this one, it's harbingers. You know, with ice dragon, it's fucking mummies. You know, with Cyclops, it's fucking, um, those Methels. And with Cerberus, you just need a ridiculous number of Peltas, like a ridiculous number. So the catch-22 here is that if you use too many high-level Taurus Witches, you're going to, so that's a bad spit right there. You've got to quit out of that now, because your score's going to be shit. Which is the other issue you have, is that sometimes she fucking spits there. So I can do about 29 million without doing this tactic. 29 point something or other. And the difference, you know, I get with this is not much more. If, in, if it is even more. And it's not going to be more this time. So what the catch is, is that in order for Jin to get on that side, he needs to activate. And then when he activates, he'll automatically retarget. So you need him to retarget to one of the little spiders that are on the side. And that'll force him to go around and um, get on the other side of these Shadow Ninjas. But if you use too many high level Taurus Witches, what you'll find is that... Oh, I'll show you. We'll get rid of all my... Frost Archers. And we'll put all Taurus Switches just to show you. What you'll find is that too many Taurus Switches, they're just going to kill those little spiders instantly. And because they instantly kill them, uh, Jin's got nothing to actually, you know, target. So he'll just stay there. So 
So you see he's instantly killed the... Um, they've instantly killed the spiders so he doesn't actually move to go that side. And he, he's going to die here. We might get lucky. Nah, he's dead. So you can't use too many tire switches. Which means your damage is actually going to be worse. And because you aren't using as many tire switches, the little spiders can eventually screw up the the form. Like um, you'll see the necromancers all fly off to go try to kill one of the the little spiders. I think even six is too much for me because um, they're all level tens. But you'll see it here, so he activates, the second activation will, and then there's a little spider there. He'll target the little spider and go walk that way. And then you use the necromancers to kind of push your under warriors further closer to Jin. But eventually you're going to lose quite a few... Basically, the majority of them you're going to lose. And then you get into the issue where the little spiders can cause her to spit um, and hit your peltus on this side. Because they don't die quick enough because there's not enough tire switches in play. And uh, it looks like Jin's going to sneak through here. Sneak, yep. So he's on the other side of the... The, um, shadow ninjas now so we need him to target the little spiders again before he gets killed go no his active is kind of not in target with uh, in line with it with them releasing at the moment so I think Jin's gonna get uh, fried here pretty soon There we go. No, died too quick. So I think we'll be very lucky to. Um, there we go. That's what we want. Ah, fuck. He walked back on the other side. So yeah, this is absolutely not fucking reliable. I'm not sure why I fucking released it. I'm not sure why um, people wanted to keep this a fucking secret. This is fucking shit, man. No one should have to fucking. There we go. He's on the other side, that's good. No one should have to waste this much fucking time on fucking honor hunting. So she's um, hit my Paltus again. Now I could try dropping Paltus to prevent that, but it doesn't really seem to matter. Because of these little spiders um, attract the, the necromancers. And uh, her timing's a bit off. Um, it just ends up hitting your fucking troops. I figured I'd put this out there to show you, you know, a, a kind of a stupid fucking form. Maybe you can play around with it and get it to work better than I can. Um, this, Goblitek, so his job is just to kind of create a barrier between the necromancers and the rest of the troops so that the necromancers kind of all kind of go this way. And I use a Frost Archer in front of him, because what happens if you use a Paltus in front of him, he'll end up um, making his cannons kind of like all over the place. But with this, he'll tend to make it more in a straight line. At least um, the first couple will go on a straight line, and then he'll start hitting the Paltus and moving, moving around. So, yep, we got Jin on the other side. Uh, rather than run this all again, I'll pause it. I'll, I'll restart it when it looks bad. Okay, we're into the last 30 seconds. So yeah, 29, it's like, 
pretty much what I average with my other form um, which relies on a lot of Taurus witches which is um, this one here and pretty much no change in score maybe it's different for phase phase one but obviously if you want to compete in honor hunting phase one you've got to have the the harbingers 14 level 10 harbingers that's the way to score high in phase one not some uh, ridiculously unreliable tactic like this but yeah I figured I'll put that out there to um, I don't know maybe someone could play around with it get it more reliable um, if you can you know post your form in the library um, yeah don't leave that don't make that a secret that's a fucking trash fucking way of playing all right guys thanks for watching and shout out to that trash clan that doesn't exist <laughs>